We're going to start with a wonderful pay into motherhood from the Scottish Parliament's annual Mother's Day debate. Thank you, Presiding Officer. From listening to today's speeches, it's clear that we all agree, no matter the party, that supporting our children in their earliest years enables them to have the best opportunities in learning and development. The upbringing of our children will help shape the people they turn out to be in later life. So the time and effort that we give them in this early stage is immeasurable. Presiding Officer, as has been clearly outlined during this debate, the SNP are committed to ensuring that all of Scotland's children get the best start in life. Every year of a, li a child's life is precious. However, when it comes to their development and the first few years, they are the most important. Our overriding priority is the health and happiness of our children, and if we can achieve this, then we will ensure our children get the best possible start in life. That's so true. The early years are so important for a child's development. Crucial, the characters form to a significant degree. The time and effort invested at that point is invaluable. And to get the best start in life, it's that one-to-one -one attention from mum that's often the crucial factor. And the vast majority of the time, it is actually mum that provides that. But sadly, there is no Mother's Day debate in the Scottish Parliament. Sadly, that MSP wasn't talking about mothers. So what's the SNP's idea of the best start in life for kids? Presiding officer, this government is committed to delivering a bright future for Scotland's children. Uh, key to this is ensuring that all our children get the best possible start in life. Pray tell, what does give kids the best possible start in life? That is why we have done more than any previous devolved administration and indeed any other government in the UK to expand high quality free learning, free early learning and childcare provision. I'm coming here to see what you get up to at nursery and I'm talking about all the things that we're doing to make sure that boys and girls like you get more nursery time. Our Blueprint 2020 sets out how we will seek to achieve this by near doubling the current 600 hours per year of free early learning and childcare entitlement to 1140 hours. So there we have it. According to the SNP, for kids to have the best start in life, they need to spend all day in childcare instead of, as they currently are, spending half the time with mum. Usually they don't present any evidence at all that that's the best option for kids to be in childcare all day, but that's what they're basing their policy on. So Scottish mums, all the parties are basically saying that they think you're a bit rubbish and one-to-one -one attention from you is inferior for a child's development than, for example, one-to-six attention in the nursery. Now you may think I'm exaggerating a bit here that Scottish MSPs don't really think that childcare is better than being with mum. Well, let's listen to a bit more. We are offering children new and richer experiences through this expansion. We must never forget that the fundamental purpose of this policy is to improve the early years experience of our children and deliver access to early learning and childcare that will help give our child, uh, children the start that they deserve. Thank you. So nursery provides a richer experience than being with mum, an improved experience. Being at nursery gives them the start that they deserve instead of being stuck with mum. So for the best start, they need to be in nursery and then an inferior option is to be with mum. Now, why do they say that? Do they really believe that that's what's best for kids? Have they got a mountain of evidence and research affirming that? No, they haven't. In fact, there's a substantial amount of research correlating emotional and behavioral problems with long hours in daycare in the early years. Now, just roughly speaking, how's it going on those fronts in Scotland? Young people's mental health, school disciplines? Well, not going too brilliantly, I would say. Now, I'm not gonna go into the research in any depth here. But the real reason for this policy is not to improve experience for kids. So if that's not the reason, what are the reasons? Well, let's hear some of them. By increasing the funded hours of childcare, we'll support parents to work, train and study, unlike the offering down in England, where it's only for working parents. And it can support parents, particularly mothers, to access ed education, to access, sorry, education, training and work. So there's one reason, to enable mums to work or to do something else, anything really, as long as it's not nurturing their own kids. So why do they want mums to be doing anything apart from being with their own kids? Well, a big part of that's the simplistic notion of equality that dominates in the Scottish Parliament entirely without dissent, the idea that men and women should make the same choices, and if they don't, that's evidence of some sort of sinister uh, sexism. 
In the Scottish Parliament, they're interested in women being fighter pilots and CEOs and engineers and footballers or MSPs or whatever. Certainly not full-time mums. So feminist principle is one thing driving this. The other thing, particularly for the Conservatives, is they try to claim that it's going to be good for the economy. Because if you provide childcare, mums go off and work instead, and then they pay tax, and the government makes money out of it. I find that hard to believe. If you imagine uh, a child in childcare for an hour, and mum goes away and works an extra hour, let's say for £20 an hour, and pays £4 in tax, roughly, is that really a money-making scheme? Childcare for £4 an hour? I think it must cost a lot more than that. They may say, but there'll be other mums who learn far more than that. But really high earning mums, if they're going to be working, their kids are currently going to be in private nursery anyway. And then when the state starts providing their childcare for nothing, they're going to get extra kids to have to look after who previously uh, the parents were paying for. Now, even if it was a money making scheme, which I don't believe for a moment, it would be a false economy. Strong family bonds, bringing up good kids is a greater benefit to society than a few extra pounds in tax. As well as providing support to vulnerable families. Okay, supporting vulnerable families, fair enough. Single mums, mental, physical health problems, etc, etc. But they're special cases. This is a universal scheme that we're looking at here. So what other motivations are there for it? Well, I think the SNP is always keen to bring aspects of family life under the wing of the benevolent state. The state knows best. We don't really want to leave child rearing to these amateur mums when there's professionals on hand. And we'll hear a bit more about these crack professionals a bit later in the video. Also, the state likes the opportunity to present the right message to children at the, at the youngest possible age. And finally, the Scottish government's got an equality obsession. And for equality, you need uniformity. So if you've got super mum who's taken her son to the museum reading stories to him, he's going to be in at an advantage compared to the poor kid sitting at home watching films all day while his mum's on Facebook. Right, how do you deal with this advantage and disadvantage? How do you achieve equality? Well, you get them both into nursery and that's a way you can close the attainment gap. Without the burden of massive childcare costs, the full entitlement to 1140 hours will save families over four and a half thousand per child per year. So that's the attitude of the SNP. Caring for your children is a burden from which parents need to be relieved. So families can save £4,500 a year. Uh, no, not all families. Only families who want to put their kids in daycare for six hours a day every day of the week. And all taxpayers have to subsidise that. What about the family that just thinks three hours is the right amount? Six hours is too much for a three-year-old. Well, tough. You just have to pay your taxes and subsidise all those people who want six hours of care instead. Now, councils are saying they think the cost of this when it's introduced of uh, this sort of nursery care overall is going to be one billion pounds a year. And currently, the number of kids involved in it are 96,000. Now, there's no reason to expect that's going to go up or down particularly uh, in the future. So the cost per child of providing this uh, nursery care for three and four year olds is over 10,000 pounds per child. So the Scottish Family Party, what we propose is that any family who doesn't want to use all that amount of child care, child care could take the proportion of the cash instead. Now, the idea of directing money towards families with young kids, that's actually good. That's pro-family. That's encouraging people to have children. It's helping parents. But we would do it without the social engineering. We'd do it in a way that supports the choice of parents about how they want to structure their family. Not all mums want to be with their kids for less time and their kids to be in state care for more time. It's unfair to assume that every family is desperate to form out their kids to daycare for as long as is possible. So the attitude in the Scottish Parliament is the ABM approach to childcare. Anyone but mum. But mum looking after young kids, in my view, it's the traditional way, it's the natural way, that's why it's the usual way, and in my personal opinion, I think it's the best way. But the Scottish Family Party's policy is not to encourage people to do everything in accordance with my understanding of what's best for a family. It's to facilitate choice. One way of doing that would be through the transferable tax allowance. 
And because at the moment, between income families, every government policy is on your side. If you've got one earner, one full-time carer, there's nothing on your side. Now, I realise there's a, a spectrum in between those two points as well. But the pressure of policy is all towards the twin income uh, model. We want to facilitate choice and allowing parents to take cash instead of state-funded childcare would be a massive step in that direction. The provision of early learning and childcare is quite simply a policy that no one would want to oppose. A policy that no one would want to oppose? Well, we do. We oppose the expansion of childcare as been implemented by the SNP. Now, typical of the Scottish Parliament, all the parties agree on this sort of thing. They just quibble on the implementation. And in this case, the big issue that they're looking at is how to recruit 12,000 new workers into nurseries. Get a career in early learning and childcare, a job and a joy. Visit our website for more on salaries, jobs and training. A joy? Being with young kids is a joy. We've not heard that word before. We've certainly never heard that word applied to mums being with their own kids. So who are these super carers? These people who are going to give kids a better experience with eight kids at once than a mum can provide just focusing on one kid, her own. Well, let's do what they suggest. Go to the website. Well, to look at careers in the childcare, you have to be at least 16 years old. And they've got a questionnaire on the website. It's great. You can answer whatever you like to any of the questions. And the answer is always that childcare is the perfect career for you. Now, I'm going to look at two questions in particular on the website. Do you have experience working with young children? I tick no. So what does it say? You don't need to have experience working with young children. You don't need any formal experience to work with young children. You just need to make sure you enjoy spending time with them. So no experience required. Um, it said, do you want to do any training before you start w work? So I click no. So you want to start work straight away. You can get a job as an early learning and childcare practitioner without any relevant qualifications. Once you're in the door, you'll have the opportunity to train while you work. So these are the elite childcare professionals that are so much better than one-to-one -one attention from a mum. I'm looking forward to seeing the gender balance of the new expanded childcare workforce. Men are very prominent in the adverts, but somehow or other, I'm not sure that's going to do the trick. But if you subscribe to the anyone but mum philosophy of childcare, you should vote SNP, Lib Dem, Labour, Green or Conservative. But if you want to help parents to choose to be with their own preschool kids, if that's what they want, then you need to vote for the Scottish Family Party. Right, if you want to keep up with our unique take on Scottish politics, click subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when we put on a new video. Uh, like us on Facebook and we're a political party. You can go to our website and join us. Thanks for watching.